Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. This is React.js video tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to get the selected values of the multiple checkboxes. Now let's check the final output. If I select football, see here we got the football, rugby, got the rugby, cricket. If I unselect rugby, it's gone. If I unselect cricket, it's deleted from the label as well as the football. If I select again, displaying only the selected checkbox values. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before continuing this video tutorial, I sincerely recommend please watch my previous reactors tutorials. You can find those video tutorials in my channel playlist. Now let's continue the today's tutorial. I'm using Visual Studio Code to create a React.js application. Here I have already created one BIS React.js application in React.js bootstrap-is folder. At the right side notice app.js which is our default React.js component. Now first in this React.js application I will create one component. In the project there is a source folder. Inside the source folder I will create one new component. Right click the source folder, new file, the file name is multiple chkbyxbox.js and here we got our JS file. Now in this JS file, we will create a component. In React.js, we can create two types of components. One is a functional components and the second one is a class components. Now first, when we want to create a component, we require the react class from the react library so let's add that one first import react from react library after that i'm defining one class component called class multiple chk box extends um, extends react dot component after that, this class component export default multiple checkbox. Now, this class component I'm rendering. I want to return method. In this return, I'm defining one do element, which is a root element of our component. In this root element, I'm adding one center tag. Center tag, center tag. Inside the center tag, I'm adding one header tag. How to get the multiple selected checkbox values? React.js tutorials after that i am adding one horizontal line now after the horizontal line i am adding one input type is equals to checkbox and the checkbox contains um, the values here the values a name is equals to let's define the sports names cricket Copy this one, paste here. Let's close this one here. I'm adding a small space and BSP colon and BSP colon. After that, I'm adding one more checkbox. Just for the demo purpose, I'm adding only three checkboxes. Cricket, the second checkbox name contains football. And the third one is a rugby. After the checkbox controls, I'm adding one simple horizontal line. After the horizontal line, I'm adding one div element. Inside this div element, I want to display the selected checkbox values, multiple checkbox values. And let's add this div style is equal to background color 
colon is black comma color colon is cyan now let's save this file now before implementing to get the selected multiple checkbox values functionality let's check the output how it looks the designing part on the browser after saving this file the next step we need to configure our component in index.js file here is the index.js file open that one and notice in the index.js file the render is rendering the component default component app I don't want to render the app component on the browser instead of that I want to render my component which is a multiple chk box copy this one and paste here and also we need to import our component here it's not p there is no p here okay now let's save this application save all now it's time to run our application on the browser for that go to view and select terminal and here we got our terminal which is nothing but a powershell and also check the path is d colon react js bootstrap iphone is which is nothing but our project name now inside this project i have created bis so let's add our project to this path after that npm magic package one just start to run our application in the browser Oops, here we go never. This is not A here. Now let's save this file, save all. I'm reloading the browser. And here we got the output of our component. Heading tags, header tags of that horizontal line. Below the horizontal line, I have the checkbox controls. Now let's implement in react.js when you use a search any particular checkbox controls i want to display the values at the bottom i can switch over to the component inside this class component i'm defining on state is equals to inside the state i'm defining one dictionary uh, which is uh, color names color names colon the color names is a dictionary which contains the keys and values here the keys are nothing but our name cricket make sure you give the exact names here and these key values are nothing but a properties and in checkbox there is a property called check which is a boolean true or false so let's make false so which is it does not select when it rendered the application football colon it's a comma here football false and the third one is a rugby this also I'm making false and after that we require one event to select the checkbox chk click is the event name event now in this event I'm declaring a variable this variable contains a property called um, in the checkbox properties I'm adding the name property here the name i want to display the output the selected name values only the selected the checkbox checked values on it so i'm adding the another property called checked is equals to e dot target then those values this dot set state method which contains the state values these values the objects is a method e to colon 
variable variable selected spot selected spot is equals to a dot color names this object name here i'm adding now here this event return only the selected check name values only the selected checkbox names so which contains an array because we are selecting multiple checkbox values selector sport contains a name property is equals to I want to display only the checked in uh, checkbox values only column here it's showing an error we forgot to have one more curly brackets now let's add this event name to the all the checkbox controls on change event is equals to this dot that event name let's add this event to all the checkbox controls save this file now here the final step in the render method it returns the outside function okay in the render method i'm declaring a variable display display sports is equals to this display sports I want to display here display so here the objects are the objects object dot keys here the keys are nothing but our the sport names cricket football and rugby this dot state dot this color names column now let's save this file save all this function return or never return this one here this one here this is one more extra here and we need to add the semicolon Save this file. Use state. Use state. This is not used. This is set state. I don't know how it's added. That's it. Now let's check the output. And here we got the output of our application, which is displaying all the objects of our dictionary, which is the keys because here we have displayed the object dot case now i want to display only the selected checkbox names of our checkbox for that i am using filter method in this filter method i am declaring an object this dot state dot color names is an array only the selected checkbox values only I want to filter and that filter I want to display in the sports let's put this in the strong copy this one and paste here now let's save this application say all we check the output so now it's not showing any values the objects now if i click football see how we got the football rugby cricket let's add one comma here plus which displays a comma and also the div style background color is not displayed now it displays the background color also let's check the final output and here we got the final output of our application let's select the multiple checkbox values if i select cricket see here we got the cricket rugby football if i unselect rugby cricket 
let's adjust the div width also comma and width is equals to 250 save this file again save all so column save this file save all compiled successfully let's check the final output i'm reloading the browser now let's check the final output if i select football see here we got the football rugby got the rugby cricket if i unselect rugby it's gone if i unselect cricket it's deleted from the label as well as the football if i select again displaying only the selected checkbox values that's it in this video tutorial i have explained how to get the multiple selected checkbox values in react.js using class components thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel